Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Bianca Janelle. I make videos on lifestyle and today I have a hair favorites video for you guys. So I have all of my favorite hair products, accessories, styling, tools, you can name it. Anything hair related I have in this video. So if you guys want to see some of my favorites, then please keep watching. Okay, so like I said in the beginning, we are going over my hair favorites. So a couple of weeks ago, I did do like a hair obsession video where I like named off some of the products that I use kind of like on a daily basis. So I'll leave that above for you guys. But today I'm going over pretty much everything that I use and I'll talk about like why I use them for different reasons. Um, it's stuff that I grab for like on a weekly basis. Obviously everything I show you, I'm not going to be using on a daily basis, but it's stuff that I grab within the week just depending on how I'm getting ready, how I'm styling my hair and so on so i decided that maybe first we should start with what i use in the shower so for shampoo right now i have been using the kristen s signature shampoo and the purple shampoo <laughs> sorry it's kind of messy so i'm pretty much out of this one and i went to go repurchase this um but they weren't in stock so i saw that they had the purple shampoo so i've actually been loving the purple shampoo so naturally in my hair I do have blonde pieces or so just like these little highlights that I naturally have in my hair so I love the purple shampoo because it kind of just takes out the brassiness that kind of comes from it sometimes so I've actually really been enjoying this one um but the one that I love is the signature shampoo like this this got me actually hooked on the Kristen S product line and I just wanted to try something different one day so I saw her line and it just kind of attracted me and I fell in love with this right away. So I definitely will be repurchasing this one and the purple shampoo because now I just kind of like to switch off like because I'm like at the very very end of this one so I need to check if they're in stock again. And another shampoo that I do love, I believe this one is around $10, I think, around, around there. And I think this one's around $7. It is the Monday Volume Shampoo. It's paraben-free, cruelty-free. I just love this. This just makes my head feel clean. Like, whenever I want like a really deep cleanse, I like, go, I like grabbing this one. And I feel like it takes out everything from your hair, all the grime and dirt. My other shampoos do that, but like I just feel like this one really gives like a deep clean. So I think that's why it gives it so much volume, just because it's actually clean. So I actually really enjoy this one. So I go for this one every once in a while, but my true ride or die ones are the Kristen S ones. I've been using these since I think the end of January or beginning of February, around there. And then for conditioner, I do kind of switch off on conditioner. Um, I usually don't even use. I guess a quote unquote conditioner, I kind of use a hair mask as a conditioner. So actually the one I love is the Neutrogena one. They sell it on Amazon and it's like just always sold out. So like when I do see it, I do restock it. So I'll go ahead and leave a picture right here for you guys so you know what it looks like. That one, I've been using that since like high school. Like I love that one. And when I can't get my hands on that, then I use this argan oil of morocco just to hydrate and repair it's a hair mask but i use it as a hair conditioner um like i said i don't really gravitate towards conditioners just because i feel like i might as well i myself just might as well use like a hair mask and just use it as deep condition i feel like that's what really gives my hair like the shine to it all of the time so i guess that's kind of my trick to my hair is that i don't use conditioner i just rather use a hair mask and then I wanted to show another, it's kind of a hair mask. What it is, it's like, it's a deep like exfoliant for your hair. So this one's by Love Beauty and Planet. It's a sulfate shampoo scrub. So you can see it literally has like these little beads in there. And I'm not kidding you, like it just detoxifies your scalp and gives it this like really deep cleanse. So I use that once a week. I usually use that on the weekends. And just be careful, it does get a little messy with the beads. Um, but that is just when I, like I said, I usually do that like on a Sunday. That's kind of like my hair mask day, my treatment day. It's usually on a Sunday because what happens is throughout the week, I put so much product in my hair. So I feel like there's like a real buildup. So that literally like rinses away. And I feel like on Monday, I have like a clean slate when it comes to my hair. So I really love that. I've been using that for probably close to a 
year now yeah about a year now so that's pretty much all I use in the shower and actually I'm gonna backtrack a little bit I'm gonna talk about hair mask so I do like to do a hair mask once or twice a week just to give my hair like that extra love and attention I feel like that's what kind of gives it the shine so I use two different products let me see okay so here's one of them it's the summer field so one of them is a summer field hair mask it's actually a hair cap and that's why I love this so what it is you can see right here is it's a cap and it's filled with like all of these like good nutrients for your hair these things that really give you a really deep condition and hydrates your hair so what I do is I put my hair in this cap and then because it's a cap the heat from your head actually helps the product like help it actually helps the product like seep into your hair so I really do like using this one and then it's just really easy because you take the cap off and then you go rinse off in the shower so this one's a really easy one to do and if I don't do that one then I love the Beauty and Planet hair oils this one's the mimosa macadamia nut oil and then this one is sandalwood and grape grape seed yeah <sighs> so I actually don't use these oils like just normally in my hair I actually don't try it so normally I'm actually pretty oily my scalp gets pretty oily I know I'm like I'm one of those rare breeds I do wash my hair every single day everyone always says it's so bad for your hair but I've been doing it and it works for me but the only thing is that when I do that is that my hair the only thing that when I do that then I do get more oily and I do know that that is a reason why but I want to just say I love these oils as a hair mask so I kind of just mix them together I spray them in my hair I clip it up I leave it for about 30 minutes to an hour and then I go rinse it off in the shower and my hair is just so soft and glowy this is actually my favorite duo right here for a hair mask I definitely recommend picking these up okay so now let's go back forward and after the shower then it is time to brush your hair <laughs> so I'm like so embarrassed I don't even want to show you guys it is so nasty I need to get a new one so I'm gonna kind of cover it up <laughs> um, I love a wet brush it's specifically designed for when your hair is wet and it just helps take out any tangles in your hair and it's really soft and gentle so that's why I love this brush I've already repurchased this brush about like two or three times I need to repurchase it again because that one's just like old and nasty um, and then another comb that I love is the Kristen S comb it really just helps detangle your hair I've never really found a comb that I'm like super obsessed with or love and I purchased this recently and I'm actually really surprised so the way I like to use this comb is with my hair mask actually so once I get into the shower I'll actually use a comb and I'll really push the product into my hair with the comb really brush it out make sure it distributes evenly and that's kind of my trick to comb I don't really use a comb on a daily basis maybe sometimes to tease my hair but actually I don't even use a comb to tease my hair I use my brush to tease my hair um, but if you want a great comb option I definitely recommend this Kristen S one and it's pretty because it's rose gold okay so brushing your hair I normally don't use a detangler because I do do a deep condition mask pretty much when I get out of the shower my hair is pretty soft um but there are some times when I do go heavy-handed on the hairspray or for an event I like use a lot of hairspray and I need the extra help so when that happens I like the honest conditioning detangler it's a leave-in hair conditioner the only thing is that this one leaves your hair pretty oily I feel like um so some people like that and I do like that because when it helps take out my tangles so it's softer um and just depending on how I'm starting my hair like if I wear my hair straight that day then I don't mind that but I know if I have to redo my hair or curl it then that's just a little bit too intense I think it's because it has the jabobo oil in here does it yes it has jabobo protein and that's like a really dense and thick oil so it kind of leaves like this like oily feel on my hair 
now if I'm straightening my hair then I like that because then it looks like really sleek and shiny um but I just don't really like it when I'm curling my hair so when that happens another detangler I just started using this so I just wanted to mention it because I do like it I'm just not sure if it's going to be like my all-time favorite because I'm kind of just trying out different ones is the detangling tonic by Kristen S this one doesn't leave my hair oily so that's why I like this and like I said I don't even normally grab for a detangler um I just do it when I feel like I need just a little extra help or those days that I like I said I went heavy-handed with product in my hair so my hair feels extra tingly um tingly I don't know if that's a word but you know what I mean so those are products that I do go for if I need the extra help now let's talk about so I have like so many <laughs> um, let's go over okay so when my hair is wet I like going in with this extra body boost now this gives you so much volume especially when you blow dry your hair it's by paul mitchell again this is another red or dye product that i've been using since like high school and it just gives my hair so much volume so that's why i really love this boosted spray i always recommend this to everyone and then what i like to use is a, either a thickening spray or like a thickening gel so this is by paul mitchell Again, another red or product that I've been using since like high school. It really just like thickens up your hair. Or, again, I've been trying this one out too and I really like this one. I go back and forth. Like, I don't really have a preference because I really like this one too. This is by Kristen S. It's the Instant Lift Thickening Spray. So, the only difference is that I actually like spraying this in my hair when it's wet. And this one I like using once my hair is dry. So, again, it just depends on my preference of the day. Um no rhyme or reason that's just what i like to use so those are the main hair products that i like to use now let's talk about so that was oh one more sorry Ooh. it's a heat protectant so this is the only one i ever use it's the chi iron guard it's a thermal protection spray i love this stuff again another ride or die product it's just one of my hair favorite heat protectants so i do like spraying this in my hair before going in and styling it so now let's talk about styling tools so i have two favorite hair curlers is it today so it might be hot it's like that's when you know you like love your hair curl i know you guys know what i'm talking about like it's literally like almost falling apart <laughs> it's dirty and like i don't care it's like one of just like my favorite hair curlers so this one is by revive i don't even remember like how i got this one i must have ordered it on amazon or something i really don't even know how i got this one <laughs> um but this is the one inch curler so this is the one i usually go for on a daily basis it's what i have in my hair right now um i've had this one for years i love it um yeah just it's literally one of my favorite ones and then the second one that i love is by hot tools i love any hot tools products or styling tools they are some of the best now this one is the two inch i've done a hair tutorial on it i'll leave it linked right here for you guys i like this one when i just want like a loose wave to my hair that's like one of my favorite hair tools to use it's just so like effortless that's what i love about it and that curler gives so much of volume to your hair so actually what i like to do with that curler is i'll curl it and then i'll use a roller this one right here i love these really big giant rollers and i'll leave those rollers in my hair for about 20 minutes and i just have so much volume so that's why i really love those and then for hairspray um i and then for hairspray i love the chi enviro 54 hairspray again another true ride or die product i've been using this forever um i just love it because it holds your curl but your hair is still movable that's what i really love about this one it's not like this like extra hold spray and then i love the eva nyc city grip matte texture spray so this one's not really a hairspray but i kind of use it like a hairspray and i just feel like it just kind of helps keep things in place but it kind of just gets like this extra volume and like texture and grit to the hair 
So I've been obsessed with this. So I like using that hairspray and then I'll go in with this just to kind of like style it and like kind of put it in places to like where I want my hair. So I really love these two products. And then finally, let's talk about dry shampoo. Yeah, okay, so pretty, I'm like trying to go in order what makes sense. Actually, first I'm gonna talk about this one. This is a working texture loose styling powder. <sighs> Ooh, this is a recent purchase. I've probably been using this for the past month. Ah, there was gonna have to be a, a hair on my lip, of course, like in this hair video. Okay, now this styling powder, it really like dirties your hair. So why a lot of hairstylists love dirty hair is because it's kind of easier to manipulate. So I love using this really like on my scalp and I'll like go ahead and tease it and move it around and it just puts my hair where I want it. It really gives it like this texture and volume to the hair. I'm super obsessed with this, so especially like when I have like an event or like I really just want to style my hair, I have to have this on hand. Okay, and now let's talk about dry shampoo. So, Ride or Die shampoo is this Batiste dry shampoo. Okay, <laughs> so funny enough, I've actually never gotten the dark one, so this one just, it, it comes out with brown powder. I usually just go for the original one. <laughs> It's making me laugh. Okay, because it's making me laugh because I have white sheets and white pillows. Well, not anymore. <laughs> well, now they're white. I wash them, but it leaves a residue. So just be careful. I actually like the original one, but they weren't in stock. So I grabbed this one, and I do like this one. I I do love that it comes out brown. But don't go take a nap because that's what I did. I sprayed it one day and I took a nap, and I was like, why are my sheets brown? Well, it was because of this. So that's just a little note, but I do love it. Um, I would just say get the original one. I don't really feel like it helps, like, I mean the brown is great and all, cause I guess with the white sometimes, like if you don't put it in your hair, it just like baby powder in your hair. Uh, but I don't really feel like it makes a difference, like just make sure you brush it in. But anyways, another dry shampoo I've been loving is the Kristen S one. Again, this is kind of a recent purchase um, so it just kind of depends on what I want. Usually I'll grab the Batiste if, one, I take the Batiste like camping and on trips just because it's easier to spray real quick. If I just kind of have the time and, I'm, and I want to restyle my hair, then I use this powder one just because I feel like it's easier to manipulate than using the spray one. And then another thing I want to talk about is hair extensions. So right now I do have in my extensions, you can see them right there these are by glam seamless they're what I wear in all my hair tutorials I love them I love how thick and full they are I've had them for over a year now and I don't even think a single hair is like dropped from the strand like they are amazing quality I'm actually thinking about purchasing the halo hair extension so the halo like literally like is on a halo and it's just like it's just easier to put on I love the clips um just because I feel like you can style them however you want but those are my true favorite hair extensions now they're the only hair extensions I've ever used so I can't compare them to anything else but I'm so happy I'm so happy with those that I don't even feel the need to try any other ones I'm sure eventually within time I will but for now, I am sticking with Glam Seamless ones, and I will be purchasing the Halo soon, so I'm sure once I do, you'll see a hair video on it. Okay, we're almost done, so I figured let's go over a couple of hair accessories. I love a good hair accessory. So, these are my true... Okay, so these are truly my favorite hair accessories. I love a clip. You cannot go wrong with a clip. I think I have a clip in my hair every single day. As soon as I start working or I get busy, I throw my hair in a clip. And I love these ones. I just like the shape of them. So these are from Amazon, I believe. And again, everything I talk about, I will link down below for you guys. Now, recently I've been gravitating towards hair pins. So I love both of these. I like hair pins because they don't leave a dent in your hair. And I feel like it's just a fun way to jazz up your hair. I actually don't really wear my hair up too much. Like when I wear my hair 
uh, I usually are out of my face I use a clip but recently I've been gravitating towards like hair pins when I want to put it like in an updo something messy kind of fun I love using these. I've been raving about hair pins for the last couple months, so they're just some of my favorite things. Another favorite hair accessory are hair scars. I think hair scars are just a fun and easy way to jazz up your hair. I love throwing my hair in a messy ponytail and just throwing on a hair scarf. I kind of feel like it completes the outfit sometimes, kind of makes it a little bit more fun. So I love a good hair scarf. And then, Let's talk about scrunchies. <laughs> so, at first, I want to talk about this one right here. This is a microfiber. This is a microfiber towel scrunchie. So I love using this when I get out of the shower because it literally soaks up all the water. And I actually have the hair wraps are just in the wash right now. Those are another favorite. I will show a picture right here. As soon as I get out of the shower, I wrap my hair in one of those because it's more gentle on the hair. You don't want to put your hair in a towel and it break off in the towel. A, micro, a microfiber towel is a lot more gentler on the hair. So I definitely recommend switching to those when you want to dry your hair. And then scrunchies. I don't think you go wrong with scrunchies. It's so funny when the whole scrunchie trend came out, I was like, ooh, scrunchies. like. They're so old. Anyways, I probably have every hair scrunchie ever made to mankind in my collection. I just collect them because I think they're so fun. I either like wearing them like on my wrist sometimes, just as like a fun accessory, or I do use them. I mean, no surprise, I like my hair messy all the time. A messy ponytail, a messy bun, so I feel like a scrunchie is just an easy way to put the hair up real quick. And then it's just fun because you can have like the fun little details on there. Some of my favorite scrunchies I purchased from Target from Kiddish. I think those are pretty much the only places that I purchase my scrunchies from. I I don't think I've ever purchased any on Amazon. If I do, I'll link it down below. But if not, I usually purchase, like I said, I purchase them from Target. Usually, I just throw them in my cart as I'm shopping. I can't help myself. But yeah, those are all my favorite hair accessories, styling tools, products, everything. Um, in the comments down below, tell me one of your favorite hair products. It can be anything from shampoo to a styling tool to an accessory. Let me know in the comments down below because I am getting a little bit more into my hair care this year. I've definitely been trying new products and just kind of figure out what my hair likes. So I'm kind of like on a journey with my hair care. So if there's anything that you can recommend, leave it in the comments down below. And if you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and you subscribe to my channel. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.